while drunk driving on the streets and highways is already an offense, you could also be prosecuted for driving under the influence of alcohol on your own driveway, as per a recent ruling of the Michigan Supreme Court. The court referred to a case pertaining to a Northville Mangino Rea, and said he could be charged by the authorities for drunk driving even if his car did not leave the driveway. While delivering the decision Tuesday, the Apex Court overruled an earlier judgment delivered by the Michigan Court of Appeals in April. A driveway is generally accessible to motor vehicles under the state law, even if on private property, the Supreme Court said, according to reports. Read drunk you is still you, just slightly more intoxicated than 2014. Police went to Ree's home after his neighbors complained about loud music. He was drinking inside his vehicle while listening to loud music, according to the court's documents. As an officer walked toward the car, Rhea backed his car in the driveway and hit some items inside the garage. Ree's blood alcohol level was found to be three times higher than the permitted levels. The police acknowledged he did not take the car beyond the front of his house, reports said. Before the case went to the Michigan Court of Appeals, an Oakland County had earlier dismissed the case. The court said he was not operating his vehicle in an area generally accessible to motor vehicles. Later, appeals court judges, Douglas Shapiro and Elizabeth Gleicher, found the lawmakers did not intend to ban drunken driving in areas that are only accessible to household members. Had the legislature wanted to criminalize driving while intoxicated in one's own driveway, it could have outlawed the operation of a motor vehicle in any place accessible to motor vehicles, omitting the adverb generally, the court ruled. According to the state law against drunken driving, a person, whether licensed or not, shall not operate a vehicle upon a highway or other place open to the general public or generally accessible to motor vehicles, including an area designated for the parking of vehicles, within this state if the person is operating while intoxicated. However, the third judge, Judge Kathleen Jansen, disagreed. I disagree with the majority's conclusion that the area of defendant's driveway on which he operated his vehicle was akin to a moat that strangers were forbidden to cross because it is unclear whether other vehicles were routinely permitted or forbidden to access the portion of defendant's driveway on which he operated his vehicle, he wrote. Reed California issues $1 million fine for failing to investigate drunk and driving reports while the case was dismissed in a 2-1 ruling in the appeals court. The Supreme Court overruled the judgment and disagreed with the court's definition of generally accessible. In light of the dictionary definitions of these words, generally accessible means usually or ordinarily capable of being reached, Justice Richard Bernstein wrote in the majority opinion issued Monday. The court said generally accessible to motor vehicles meant the vehicles could access such locations, and in Ree's case the driveway was designed for vehicular travel and there was nothing on his driveway that would have prevented motor vehicles on the public street from turning into it.